There's a thing, like. I've never heard of that. I'm not saying it's not a thing, but. <laughs> I'm not saying they're lying. You never heard of the nervous pee? No. I wonder, I mean, maybe it's like a. Yeah, since like eighth grade. The second time. <laughs> Dead ass. Like until literally this Sunday or just now, like I that's what I know. Like I can give you two examples and and last month I think it was last Monday. Again. It's consistent. Like even though when I first get there before football games, I, I just it, I can't miss the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Real rap. Uh, what is it? Sixty-eight. I knew you were going to do that. What? Just do a real loud. Hit it how I hit it? Yeah. You can't be playing with that thing. See, you have to... See... <laughs> yeah, it's, don't even get me started. It was okay. going back to the nervous pee. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to episode 68. 68. It's a sexy number. 68, I like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your description of the number earlier. Sec... Uh... uh Curvy, what I call it? <laughs> Wavy. <laughs> Shout out to our YouTube viewership. You know what's going on. We know what the fuck going on. <laughs> they don't call this a podcast for no reason. And you know what's crazy? If, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. First things first. But I think it would be, I think you would, it's like a Netflix series, if that makes sense. Yeah. You got, not, you, you can binge it, I believe. Yeah. Because, you know, old news is still it's, new it's, news if you ain't heard in. it. <laughs> right, it's, it's Right, so, and then you, you, you know, you have a better feel for what the fuck going on. So, you know, new listeners, go back to episode one if you ain't, you ain't got shit to do. But, uh, welcome. Something else I was going to uh, It's five rants I want to go on, because we're always talking before the podcast. And oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Oh, actually, uh, last week we were uninformed because I didn't. We were, we were talking about Beyonce's <laughs> flamingo dress, her, her queen bee dress, and uh, we were like, I don't know, like you were like, where was she? I was like, I have no clue. <laughs> like, oh, I thought you know we and we went off, but they were at like one of the most important functions in all of Africa. The <laughs> and I, I thought I thought that was oh, interesting. Now I feel even more dumb. But see, that's what that's why I said I thought that was interesting because when I found like at the in the moment on the internet, you just I'm like whatever. It's a concert that it's a fire concert because right. you got Ed Sheeran and Beyonce. Right. Like I, I that's what I'm saying. I kind of just accepted right. it about right. it like, and just and okay. just moved whatever on. Whatever it is, right? Whatever it is, whatever, but like Hillary Clinton's there. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> wow. so, so I have never heard of it. But that's why I thought it was crazy. I'm like, well, see, actually, I'm like, why the fuck would I hear about that? I'm like, I'm sure there's very important things that I can't even give you off the top of my head that True. they could care less about in Canada, no right. less. True. Halfway around the world in Africa. True. So I didn't feel too bad. Like, I, when I saw it, I was like, damn. I was like, I'm a dick. Yeah. And then and then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, why the fuck would I know what's going right. on? Right, like, right, right. Like, there's, all right, I get, the, I I get the internet, right. but I was like, all right, come on. Because I, I, I did feel like a dick. But, uh... <laughs> And uh, I, t- I didn't take some heat, but my uh, it, it was interesting how people on both sides of the fence felt about my black fishing. Like someone said to me, uh, they were like, "Black fishing is uh, black fishing is." Uh, I brushed over it, but black fishing is people being able to be black on the internet is, and not dealing with the consequences. And I was just like, "Well, I didn't look." And I was thinking the same thing, like, "Well, I didn't look that far into it," and uh, but. Like, what? Basically, like basically, if you're black on it, because I just was like, I don't see. No, I don't see. I didn't. We didn't. Not we didn't see the problem with it. But I'm like, it's the internet. Like, if you, it's makeup out of control. And what I didn't say last week is, I think it's weird when women, or people that wear makeup now, because it's not just women. <laughs> but that's another story for another, another episode. <laughs> but uh, how people just do makeup in like the just certain spots or like. People just do the eyebrows and shit. Or girls, people just do the eyebrows. And that's it. So what I really didn't go down to with black fishing, I think I said it was makeup spiraled out of control. But I yeah. think it was like, what you do to your face, how you can change your face, 
they just changed their whole body. Like I looked at it like a makeup thing, not necessarily yeah. a uh, uh, what do they call that cultural appropriation thing. If that makes if that makes sense, but that was a big word. As <laughs> but usually that's me. Like I was like, usually that's me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I gathered what it meant no, by no. what you say, and and I remember hearing that, but but uh, anyway, yeah. So <laughs> the beauty of the internet is people tell you what to feel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, and it, and it again. I, I wasn't segueing this on purpose, but the universe just flows. Uh, Doctor Phil said w- said something interesting about uh, he was being asked about white privilege, and I, normally people I don't want to just play a clip and not give you the whole context, but I want to play the clip first so it all it all makes sense. They asked him when. He knew he had white privilege, and he just was explaining when it. But when did you recognize your own white privilege? Uh, you know, when I started studying it a long time ago, you know, in college, you know, back in my master's program and doctoral program, we started looking at those things then. So I got sensitized to it. This is a, I, f- I always play more than I. Trump, he said that uh, black people would have more advantages than white people because of like affirmative action and things like that. So he could come back, he would be a black man. It was an old clip. Why do some people? Why, why, why do some white people think black people have more privilege? Because they're idiots. <laughs> it's idiotic. It's an idiotic thing to say. I mean, that's just simply not true. Um, they, they don't have more privileges because there's a historical momentum in terms of educational opportunity and uh, the things that we just talked about with regard to white privilege that they simply don't know uh I like how you told them. They haven't had to climb that steeper hill uh, because things that slowed their direction. Uh, let me tell you, that just would not, he, he wouldn't say that if he walked that if he walked that path very long. You know what's so interesting? I always ask uh, white people. I say, what is, how are you using your privilege to combat? Privilege? That was the, I think you actually got a whole list on how to combat white privilege. I guess I should yeah, let him I mean, rock. I think for my for you can do. This is you know when I started the show seventeen years ago. By the way, you made $79 million. So one of the things I want to do is I want to talk about the silent epidemics in America. And that's one of the silent epidemics in America. Epidemics. That's what a breakfast club is for. America. All right, I'm seven. Uh, If you want to finish, hear the rest of Dr. Phil's rant, find it on the internet. I I really, I I thought it was, and why I'm getting, how I'm getting here is we talked about uh, the the on the, black fishing on the internet, comparing it to like real life situations like uh, Rachel Dolezal, whatever else we mentioned, right? So when I see uh, when, I, when I happen to hear Doctor Phil say that, I'm like, you know, I don't. And we talked about this earlier, so I have, I have to like refresh my yeah <laughs> com- re- refresh my conversation. Does that count as a Pre-production meeting? I guess it does. No, I mean we were no? just talking. Okay, but uh, <clears throat> I I think when when Doc when I hear Doctor Phil say I mean when I hear Charlemagne or whoever else say uh, how do you feel? Some people are saying that black people have more advantages, and to hear Doctor Phil like, well, they're idiots because that's fucking outrageous. I just rubbed me the wrong way, kinda. But I think you took it, especially hearing more of it now, like, I think you took, I think his way. That's why I let him rock. Right. A little more. Because did you get the, like, I feel like. No, I kind of tuned him out, I'm not going to (laughs) lie. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. I think he basically, he said the the moment, the historic momentum. And I get that. Because he's talking about, like the you know the the limitations that were you know i can't even verbalize what my point is but like he's talking about historically i'm listening right know, and, 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 I, and i actually just heard the him. way the fucking but I'm t- is but see, was is and was just racism you know like and i get that right and i'm not gonna sit up here and act like racism doesn't exist today right now right right 
But I think when I when I hear that, you believe in the you believe in the laws of attraction, don't you? Yes. That's kind of how I look at it. Like I, I wake mm-hmm. up, I don't wake up every day like oh, I'm at a disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, even and I want to say I know it, but I think outside of it. If that I, you know, because because of if I wake up and think like, damn, I'm at a disadvantage. You're it's gonna, gonna put me there. Disav- right. It's gonna right. put me right. there in a situation right. where, right. And I and it's in a situation where I feel like I should. I I should have a disadvantage. In my brain, I rise above it. And and if it happens to me, I know it's not on me. Right. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't beat myself up about it. I'm like, it's on the other end. Right. Because I didn't. You know, I didn't. Right. I gave the best me. I gave the best me always. Yeah. So when I hear that, I'm like, see. I think I think it's those little seeds. Yeah. I think it's planting those seeds. It, and to sure. me, shit is bigger than black fishing. Shit is bigger than this. Like it's bigger than a breakfast club interview. It's bigger than that. To to hear that driving in the car in the morning would rub me the fucking wrong way. I see, I see where you're coming from now. That explains it to me better. Yeah. Cause it's you're bigger right, than you're that. Right, you're right. It's bigger than a seventy-five year old white man who made seventy-nine million dollars telling me, of course sir, I'm at a disadvantage. No. It's bigger than that. True. I ain't never gonna run into you. Don't tell me. You know what I'm saying? So it's shit like that. That keeps it That I think plants the seeds to yeah. keep it going. Yeah. If that if that and I'm and like I said, I, I'm not gonna sit up here and act like Shit isn't fucked up in the, in America as far as race is concerned. It's fucked up in a lot, a lot of ways. Like a lot. And not of, even America not, in the world. Like, yeah, like in the there's world. so many different things to like. Just today it was to a, it was a, it was a, a a checkpoint on on Baham Plant on Road. When I seen the police, I was like, oh shit. Like I know he not, he didn't even the crazy shit is he didn't even pay me no mind but when I see the police I'm like there, you in my brain there's a chance there's some shit you know what I'm saying so I'm not gonna I'm sure today that happened today anxiety like as soon as I turned the, the corner I was yeah. like oh boy because I know how I feel right, right. when they get behind me I'm like oh god am I doing anything wrong fuck right see that's the shit with me <laughs> damn but my brain don't say am I doing anything wrong right. my brain just say see shit like that. I know, like there's a fuck the seed. There's a there's an elephant yeah, in the in the in the back in the back seat. So I, that's why I just want to say all that to say I I'm fully aware of what's going on in the world. Yeah. But and now in that situation, when I'm like first first instinct is mm-hmm. oh shit, rise above it. Right. I just rise above it like I ain't doing shit wrong. Right. That's when it, it's like second. Like, right. Because if you get yeah, like, if I sit there like. Nah, cause I know yeah. I don't if I pull the roll down the window, like don't punch me in the face. Like or don't the, pu- you, you got your gun on. You know what I'm saying? Like like the Charlie situation when you met Charlie and you were like, "What?" And she was like, "What?" Ah. Yeah, like it, it makes it. The ang- you got to rise above that feeling. You got to rise above it. When you rise above it, now if some shit goes wrong, it goes wrong. It goes right. It goes right. But in that moment, I rise above it and do the best I can do. So I think. Uh, I think it's certain thing, and and we're gonna get into some fucked up shit on this very episode, but I just I want to be very clear that it's always it's always deeper than the first thing you might hear. Like when I and th- actually this second this next story we're gonna get into with uh, Centoya Brown. I first I saw this like years ago. This story. I don't jump at the first thing I see on the internet. Like if you read the first headline, or I don't give a fuck where you hear from CNN. Fox News, Good Morning America, Ellen DeGeneres. I say that to say this podcast. I don't care where you hear it. You should always do your due diligence because some shit is not gonna. It's not. It's not gonna be what it seems, and you gotta interpret everything your own way. There could be one thing in there that I overlook because it don't apply to my life that may be like, oh shit, yeah, and you make you look at it totally the polar opposite. So I I try not to jump at everything I see and and all and have an instant reaction. So I say that to say this podcast, some shit I may say on episode 68, you could take the wrong way and I may not explain until episode 171. Right. <clears throat> that means you should subscribe and stick around. <laughs> but that's another story 
for another day.